Hey y'all, it's Janine, and today I'm explaining settlements on a general release. Well, y'all listen, let me tell you about a call I received the other day from an insurer. He called and he was telling me how he had extra damages on his claim and he needed to speak with his adjuster because the money he received wasn't enough. So as I was looking through the claim, I realized he settled his claim on a release for a certain amount of money. So I told him, I said, well, it looks like you signed a release. So I said, well, sir, the release states that the money you got would be enough money to get your repairs done. He said, well, I have additional damages. It's worse than I thought it was. When you sign a general release, you have to make sure it is what you want. It's got to be enough money to make you whole again. If you do your homework first to find out exactly how much it's going to cost to make you whole again, and they offer you a general release, now you have enough information and ammunition to go and say, okay, but this is how much it's going to cost. And prove your case. If it's enough, sign the release, take the money and run. But if it isn't, stage case. Y'all now listen, a general release is a binding contract. It tells the insurance company that you're accepting this money and you're not coming back for any more. If you have damages after the fact, too bad, so say it, because you're not getting any more money. So think long and hard before signing that release. So now, if you enjoyed that tip and you want to hear more, go ahead and ring the bell, share it out, leave me a comment in the comments below. Let me know what you want to hear, because you know you're going to want to hear more. And I'll talk to you next time.